Hello friends, watch this short video until the last frame to understand whether it is the right time to invest in Excite Industries or not. Further, to know what are the future prospects of this company. Please do like the video if you are new to my channel and looking for quality content on stock markets. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Let us move to our topic. This company was incorporated as Associated Battery Makers Limited in 1953. Exide Industries Limited is an Indian storage battery producing company and also a life insurance company headquartered in Kolkata, India. It is the largest manufacturer of automotive and industrial lead acid batteries in India and the fourth largest in the world. It has plants in India and Sri Lanka and a dealership network in 46 countries spanning across five continents. Exide also has four major lead acid battery recycling facilities two of which are in the United States and Spain and Portugal each have one as well. The company claims that 99% of lead processed through these facilities is recycled. The company manufactures the widest range of storage batteries in the world from 2.5 ampere hour to 20,600 ampere hour capacity covering the broadest spectrum of applications. Exide is the only company that provides submarine batteries to the Indian Navy. The continuous research efforts have enabled Exide to patent new processes and grid structures for batteries in India. In January 2013, Exide Industries acquired 100% of equity capital of ING Vaishya Life Insurance. In May 2014, the name of ING Vaishya Life Insurance Company Limited was changed to Exide Life Insurance Company Limited. Let us check its current position and fundamentals. Exide has a market cap of 13,230 crores. Current share price at rupees 155.65. 52 weeks high and low are 208.80 paise and 121.90 paise. Book value at 76.09. Stock PE at 16.73. Dividend yield at 2.63%. Return on capital employed ROCE at 21.53%. Return on equity ROE at 13.39%. Sales growth for 3 years at 15.81%. Face value of 1. Total assets of 24,368 crores and a debt of 193.2%. 23 crores equity capital at 85 crores here it required to post bottom line that is net profit at a minimum of 850 crores to generate 10 eps and then only there are chances for the price to sustain above 100 levels for this company debt to equity at 0.03 current ratio at 1.66 eps 9.14 Sales 14,471 crores. Sales of latest quarter at 3,475 crores. Year on year quarterly sales growth at 18.27%. Year on year quarterly profit growth at 17.99%. Profit after tax at 790.59 crores. Here, as I said earlier, profit is posting around 800 crores and the price is currently sustaining at higher levels. Profit growth at 2.26%. Return over 3 months. 5.85%. Return over 1 year minus 13.91%. Return over 5 years 0.12%. Promoter is holding 45.99% and there is no pledging of shares from the promoter's end. The sales growth is promising at 5 years CAGR of 12.16% and 1 year CAGR at 15.26%. This can be depicted from the graph and the blue ticks indicate the yearly sales in crores. Profit growth is fantastic at a 1 year CAGR of 26.29% and 5 year CAGR at 11.62%. If you notice carefully, for a sales growth of 1400 crores from the year 2018 to 2019, there is a corresponding profit growth of around 180 crores has been recorded, which is more than the mean profits for given sales of this company. It's a good sign. But why such a spurt in the profits in the last year and will the company sustain further at the same rate? Excite has delivered its best return on the investment at 2100% from the year 2006 to 2018. Its stock price CAGR over the last 10 years is 0.93% and 5 years, 3 years and 1 year are negative, which means it has ruined the investor's wealth who invested in the recent past. Will it deliver anything good for the investors in the coming years? Digging deep into the price movement analysis indicates that the investor who invested 6 months ago in this stock has lost 21.6% of his money. Exide Industries has fallen 25.96% from its 52 weeks high of Rs. 208.8. There is no pledge in the shares and the promoters are holding a stake at 46% as of June 2020. 
mutual funds FII and institutions are combinedly holding up to 32 percent public shareholding is at 22.1 percent volume analysis indicates the monthly and weekly daily averages are more compared with six months average so investors might have started considering this share for possible addition to their portfolios as the market has recovered well from the corona driven fall from the graph of price versus book value we can notice that company shares are trading far above the book value book value is a measure of the amount per share that a shareholder will get if the company is liquidated today book value is an important measure for the safety of investment while investing in any stock this must be examined while investing for the long term however since book value does not count the intangible assets the prices of the companies in sectors like pharma and it may be much higher than book value Exide Industries is trading at 2.1 times its book value which means the price won't be justified until there is a drastic improvement in the book value by posting good profits in the coming quarters. Operating cash flow is a very important metric when we want to analyze how reliable a company's profit figures are. Operating cash flow is the amount of cash generated by the company's general operations. Operating cash flow should be higher than the net income. The operating cash flows of Exide Industries are zigzag in nature and however income is steadily improving. Does it mean that it is always expanding its business or something else? Let us examine the balance sheet and the profit and loss statement. From the profit and loss statement, we could notice that the top line that is sales turnover has steadily improved from 2016 and took a slight dip in the last financial year. Bottom line that is net profits over the years are solid. Employee cost has steadily increasing means more activity. However, the raw material cost has a dip in the last financial year. Taxes have reduced. Does it mean the company has got some government incentives? The balance sheet indicates that there is a steady increase in net worth. Valuation is mixed in nature. For example, in the case of PE valuation, price yet to reach its true value. However, in the case of EPS valuation and Graham's number, the current share price is trading high and it's overvalued. Current price of Exide Industries Limited is 23.36% lower than the PE valuation price. Current price of Exide Industries Limited is 29.49% higher than its EPS valuation price. That doesn't mean the price will crash in the future. It is just to make investor cautious. The question is, will the company continue to post profits in the near future or not? Since auto segment is in the downtrend for the time being, so be prudent while investing and don't keep your 100% capital. And if you are inclined to take up this stock, then go in sip more. Let us see the news trend. The latest news indicates that excite to start assembling lithium ion batteries which are primarily used for the electric vehicle segment. This news was in December 2019 and unfortunately due to corona the auto segment has hardly hit. Of course, we cannot deny that the future market for the lithium ion battery in India is bright. There were plants shut down due to corona and sales and profit growth may decrease in the coming quarters. What does the news flow indicate? Any correction nearby or this is the best price to enter? Let us move to check the short term trend via technical analysis. Technical analysis indicates that there are more chances to fall if it won't close above rupees 162.6 on a weekly basis. Mutual funds decreased their shareholding in the last quarter. This is a big negative for this company from the branding perspective. Positives of this company are raising net cash flow and cash from operating activity, growth in net profit with increasing profit margin, book value per share improving for last two years, company with zero promoter pledge. I hope by now you have a better idea about Exide Industries and its future prospects. I expect that due to the lockdown and several other factors, it may post negative results or decreased profits in the coming quarters. Please do remember that investing money into the markets has a high degree of risk and you should be compensated if you are going to take that risk. Happy investing. Thanks for watching my video. I'm new on YouTube. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more. I will see you again in the next video.